even tacking stitch. At the end of this class, you'll be able to sew an even tacking stitch, determine the applications of the even tacking stitch in different garments and products, how to do an even tacking stitch. I hope from the previous class, you remember what an even tacking stitch is. This is what it looks like. Now let's see how it's sewn. Step 1. Work with single or double thread knotted at the end. Step 2. Start on the right unless you are left-handed. Step 3. Make evenly spaced stitches of uniform length by taking the needle in and out of the fabric. Step 4. Continue till the end of the line. Step 5. End a line of tacking with one back stitch and tie a knot by taking a small stitch and inserting the needle through the loop, pulling it and securing the knot. Snip the thread with a scissor. So that's the even tacking stitch. This is what the right side of the even tacking stitch looks like. And this is what the wrong side of the even tacking stitch looks like. Step 6. To release the tacking stitches, just cut off the knots on both ends and pull out the thread. You may use cheaper quality thread for tacking, as you will be removing these stitches once it is permanently sewn with the machine. This kind of thread would be easier to cut without a pair of scissors when the job is done. The applications of the even tacking stitch. Now let's see the applications of the even tacking stitch. Even tacking is used on a folded hem before it is permanently sewn together. It is also used to hold something together before it is permanently sewn with a machine, for example a pocket. Even tacking is often used in quilting. Here, the entire quilt has been sewn together with the even tacking before it is actually quilted. It is also used in embroidery. For example, this embroidery on the quilt is made of even tacking stitch. When used in embroidery, it can be a permanent stitch if it is part of the design, else you may remove it once the purpose is served. With that we come to the end of this class. Before we leave, let's recall what you have learnt in this class. The way of sewing the even tacking stitch. Starting from the right with a knotted thread, evenly spaced stitches of uniform length are made by taking the needle in and out of the fabric and ending with a back stitch and a knot. The different applications of the even tacking stitch. Even tacking is used on a folded hem before permanently sewn together on the sewing machine. To hold something together before it is permanently sewn with a machine, for example, a pocket. In quilting, in embroidery. Take the next class to know about the uneven tacking stitch.